Hey, Benny Fash, 30th of May, 2019, and I hope I can make rhyme or reason out of this for you because it just pours in, um, but I got to share this stuff. It's so unbelievable, but we know we have the Bilderberg meeting starting today, right? We know Jared Kushner is going to be there. We also know that there are going to be 130 participants from 23 countries there. And once again, I made a bunch of notes that if any of you can glean anything off of these, please do, because I will probably miss some things as I have to double back. Um, I might want to show you one thing real quick first. If you have not seen that I have another channel, okay? Many Fishers looks just like this channel. I did a video the other day about the obelisks and all these various things on the maps in the United States in particular that you might want to go look at and get a better idea of exactly what we're dealing with here in the United States, particularly along the East Coast here from Boston to Washington, D.C., you know, the birth area of the whole country. And this line that runs from obelisk to obelisk and how it dissects perfectly through New York City. I mean, you could not split that any more closely. As well as Philadelphia goes right through Philly, right exactly to the Washington Monument. And that line is exactly 396 miles. Okay, the 396. And I show a whole bunch of things in that video. So if you want to go over to the other channel and check that out, I, I might suggest you do that. But as far as this um, Bilderberg goes, we know we have Kushner showing up, right? Kush. That's what I always think of when I see Kushner, the father of Nimrod. And these people are meeting in Montreux, Switzerland, okay? As I said, 130 are attending, which biblically literally means bloodshed and rebellion. That is what it means. 23 countries. That represents the wicked of the world. It literally does. Those who aren't in Christ and want nothing to do with Christ. These are the people who are running the show in this world. The flesh, okay? And the Democrats, I saw this and it really kind of tweaked me. They are running 23 candidates. And I found an article that says they're waiting for Obama. Now look at this because this is kind of creepy, really. Waiting for Obama, they say. 23 candidates struggle for attention and one name stands out. May 23rd, it's released. Barack Obama is literally more popular than Jesus among Democrats. Which doesn't surprise me because the Democrats at this particular time, uh, they do represent just wickedness. I mean, the Republicans are no better. It's a, it's a tit for tat game that keeps the populace just going after each other, flip it one way, then you flip it the other way, and it just continues on and on until you die and get thrown in the pit because their main objective is to keep you from focusing on a God-centered life, a Jesus-centered life, and pay attention more to politics. That's all it's really about, okay? So all of that stuff's going on, right? These are the master builders meeting over there in Montreux. And the other day on this channel, I did a video called uh, Manhattan Hinge, the new season, Ascension Day, which is today, Pride Month, and Fire in the Sky. And a commenter reminded me of this, which I appreciate very much. The fire in the sky is a line from a song called Smoke on the Water. A fire in the sky. And you will never believe this. But where the Bilderbergs are meeting right now is literally the same place referred to in that song. Montreux, Switzerland on the Lake Geneva shoreline. This is where they're meeting. Smoke on the water, fire in the sky. Now, I'm trying to keep this as understandable as I can because there's so much to it, but I have to take you back to Paris.
because Paris really does represent some of the most powerful satanic forces on the face of the earth. It's just that steeped in evil. It's a wicked city, people. I mean, wicked. Okay, so they have this monument that they erected there. This thing they call the Grand Arch, right? Now, I've gone over this thing before. I see this as a portal, as a, I don't know, alchemaic, spiritual, ritualistic, satanic, symbolic, you know? It's all those things rolled into one. And when you see where this thing sits, it's absolutely off the charts. How it's at the very end of this grand avenue that displays everything from pyramids to obelisks to arches of Titus to everything you can imagine and winds up down here in this little plaza with a giant pyramid or a delta you notice these oddly placed lines everywhere these are all symbols this thing is so steeped in symbology it's off the charts and notice that they took the cube and they skewed it they skewed it by six point three three degrees okay now why do you think they would do that they have their reasons they give you but I'm telling you it's purely ritualistic that's why they did it but nonetheless from the Bilderberg meeting to this cube this portal if you will is insane and I drew this line I'll actually draw another line just to show you how crazy this is right from the middle of the cube and we'll go back to where they're holding Bilderberg right now. Exactly to the center of Montreux. Okay? Right to the town where they're holding Bilderberg. And you got to just look at those numbers. 444.69 kilometers. You, you can't get around that. And the 444, the interpretation of all these numbers is very clear. The 444 in the Hebrew literally means filthy or morally corrupt. The 444 in the Greek means man or human being. So we are dealing with filthy, morally corrupt men in Bilderberg. Okay? And they worship the cube. The 69 simply represents the duality system that we're in. Okay? And to that cube is 444.69. Now, the deep purple, the royalty that that represents, okay? That's who's meeting in Montreux, the Bilderbergs, the royalty. They released that song, Smoke on the Water, in 1973, 46 years ago, okay? Now, Trump and his whole family are making a royal visit. And I have to show you these things because, you know, just for posterity's sake. But Trump is taking all his children to visit the Queenie. And they're going to Buckingham Palace. So think about that. Trump is going to meet the family. That's how I see this. Because they're all the same family. I'm sorry, but they are. And the purple. We could go into the purple. I've made videos about purple. The rich man and Lazarus, you should really go read these things. It's important that you understand this stuff. And how the purple was used to mock Jesus at his crucifixion with the purple robe and the crown of thorns, which are in Paris, right? At the Louvre Museum. All right? So we've established the satanic depths of Paris, we see about the cube, we know about the royalty, and it's interesting that Trump, as soon as he's done with the Queen, they're going over to France, of all places, to visit the Normandy invasion landing area, okay? Now this is where it gets interesting. When I did the video the other day on the other channel, the uh, Philadelphia, New York, so on and so forth, I was showing how these things connect to Washington, D.C., and how Trump is now going to be in Normandy, France. And I took a line, and I went from the cube, okay? This is just crazy. You have to kind of wrap your mind around this stuff, I guess, you know? 
and I went from the cube in Paris to the Washington Monument, literally center to center on, on the line, you know what I mean? And that's the line right there, comes out the other side of the cube. Now, if we follow this line, though, this is where it gets super interesting, because this line intersects exactly, exactly over where Trump is going to be going to visit the Normandy invasion beaches. This is exactly where the D-Day invasion occurred. And this line goes directly over it and continues all the way to Washington, D.C., to the Washington Monument. Okay? So we follow it over there. And you have to notice how amazingly close it aligns with the alignment that I was showing in the other video. It's, it's uncanny right exactly to the Washington Monument. And this line is exact. It's exactly to the cube and exactly to the monument. I mean, you can't get around this stuff. So this line right here, we'll look at the, the properties on this thing. And since we cross the ocean, we'll go in nautical miles. And what do we get? 3,333 exactly nautical miles from the Washington Monument Obelisk to the Paris Portal Satanic Tesseract Cube. Exactly. And I'm not even getting into the degree of angles these things are all at and everything. It's all just built into the cake, into their Satanic cake. Because they are the master builders and they're doing this on a macro level. So that people don't see it. But now we see it. And it's amazing that that line crosses exactly over where Trump is going after his royal visit. There's, there's so much to this that, you know, I can't really do it. But I try because, you know, I love you. And I need you to know that there's only one way out of this insanity, this darkness that leads to death. And that is Jesus Christ. The way, the truth, and the life. It's really that simple. If you don't know him, I pray you seek him today and realize that you are dealing with things that we cannot fathom. There is no escape without Jesus. And so I just had to show you this stuff. I'm compelled. So I hope some of this uh, makes sense to you guys. And, and I suggest you go watch that other video because it reveals some pretty intense stuff to me. And uh, I guess that's all for now, you guys. I hope you're having a blessed day. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God,